Yeah, I think I definitely need to say my opinion about this for reals because I don't think they realize how easy they have it compared to what I had to go through. Because imagine you're getting so much hate, but you have nobody to back you up. That's how bad I had it. And now I was getting compared to Tectone, Hirohei, Jay Schlatt, you name it. I will react to Goose Egg's video and then I'll give my own opinion about it. Content creators are getting absolutely fucking shitted on for no goddamn reason sometimes. They take the smallest things in the entire world and turn it into something that is way out of context. There's a lot of creators that come across as genuinely nice people on stream slash video, but are actually like parasites behind the scenes. If you don't bend to their will, they'll make a big deal out of it publicly or drag your name through the mud behind your back to other creators. Not a bad, not, not a bad overall thing to say, who? Why, why are we not naming who or saying who? I understand you might want to keep it private, but like if it's such an issue. Why don't oh my gosh, it? I hate that so much. Then, if you are not going to mention who it is, it's going to piss me off so much because most of the time I would know, but if you try to not say their name and be a man about it and have the audacity to say so, then why even trying to freaking complain about shit? If you're going to complain, at least mention what's going on, who's involved, and why you don't like what they're saying or what they do. I get so annoyed by that. If you want to talk, then talk to me. Call me out. Don't be a bitch about it and call me out because I had to deal with some TikTok children two weeks ago or something where they tried calling me out over Yunjin singing, but they didn't mention my name, but I already knew who it was because people were atting me on my own TikTok account, which got banned, by the way. If you're going to speak up about a topic and you want to get somebody involved and you don't want to say their name, then you might want to back the fuck off. You better say their name so they know what's going on. It's better to talk face to face with that person rather than talking behind their back and not mentioning their name. Sorry, I got a little heated there. There are many creators in the Genshin circle and wider connected circles I'd like to befriend or get to know better. But they're already in so deep with many people who are awful people off stream and it makes me skeptical if they're just naive or also awful behind the scenes. I feel very bad when I can see someone is trying to make an effort but I cannot get a clear judgment of their character so I just keep them at an arm's length to avoid risk of getting mixed in with people who have ill intentions or just horrible to talk to behind the scenes. Who the fuck are you to judge somebody because of their friends what is this fucking middle school also who are you to put yourself on a pedestal above everybody else to just say that about everybody and then not name anybody this is some pisses me off so much if you don't know what their intentions are you might want to try to speak up about it ask them about the whole situation you could be precautious if you want but just try to get some closure about it instead of making the tension grow bigger okay instead of being a pussy about it how about you trying to close in the gap and try to fix it because it feels like one-sided right now i feel like this tweet in a nutshell is basically just they're too scared to talk to people so they're just trying to distance themselves even more and just make judgments on them for whatever instead of trying to solve the issue i'm not gonna be friends with you or i'm gonna be skeptical of you because of your friends and i'm gonna judge you about it this is shit we did in middle school where we oh johnny's friends with Susie, but Susie's a bitch so fuck johnny i don't want to talk to him first off who are you to fucking say that Second off, I'm gonna get heated if I keep talking about this. This is the number one way you're never gonna make friends in school or just like anywhere in general if you don't close the gap. If you don't speak up about it, if you don't try to ask that person about anything, you're not gonna get anywhere and get no closure whatsoever. Then we have people also saying this. When is the era of Tectone, Goose Egg, and Hero Hey? and the other attention-seeking YouTubers ending because it's getting annoying. It's never going to end. We are here making content regardless, okay? I'm not sure if they even know this, but I was also labeled as part of, like, Tectone and Hero Hey, Jay Schlatt, you name it. Those three were, like, the main ones I was being labeled as in the community, and I'm not even big. I only have, like, 20k plus subscribers, and I'm being treated if I were, like, some famous content creator. No. You see my analytics lately? I'm very small, but it seems like people want to treat me like one of those big content creators because I guess
guess I'm on their recommended pages on YouTube a lot, or on their for yous on their darn TikToks, like, why even using TikTok, or on their Twitters, um, to the point where they're just getting annoyed by me. That's how big I got it when, um, this drama went out, and I just started to milk it out. Now it just dimmed down, but they're not coming back. I guarantee you they're not coming back after this, because I already made my apology video. I did a re-up. That kind of still got hate from that, but people still don't forgive me about the engine part. Insulting, being racist, disrespecting the culture. It's called a fucking opinion for a reason. Opinions go that route, not all the time, but they do. I'm not saying I'm all those. I'm just being labeled as those. It's called an opinion. If we were talking about this face-to-face, -face, not on the internet, I would be more respectful. Here's the catch. This is the internet. Welcome to the internet. I could literally just relate to Tecton and Goose Egg right now because all three of us are literally being labeled as these things from the Genshin community just because we reacted to Yunjin singing and now more drama's going on. This drama won't end and it's just piling on top of each other. It's just piling on top. They want us gone. Because I'm addressing an issue that is a very big problem in the community because Tectone is getting shitted on every single day by thousands of people for no reason. He voices his opinion. It's his opinion, okay? whoop de fucking do whoop de fuck can do. Thank you, Goose Egg. Even though they're getting targeted, they have it much easier because they have supporters. Look at somebody like me that's smaller. You know, I'm getting flamed by thousands and thousands of people and I barely have any supporters. I'm like a ghost in the Genshin community, but it seems like it's only the haters that find out about me. No one else. It's like I'm the only one who doesn't really get much support and just the only thing I could get out of this is just hate, death threats, doxing, you name it. Hero hate covers Twitter drama. Holy shit! And then we have people saying, I'm not gonna be friends with somebody because I'm friends with shit! Oh, Twitter, Twitter's a cesspool. But yeah, that's my biggest concern. Why are you not gonna be friends with someone if they have this certain type of friend? At that point, you don't really deserve friends. If you see it in that light, where you don't want to be friends with someone just because this certain friend of theirs you don't like and think awful things about that one person, you don't even deserve to have any friends at all. Not even one. Who gives you the right to decide who your friends are over that one statement. Shit, I wouldn't even want to be friends with that person. Because that just shows to me that they're such an insecure bitch at that point. Grow a pair of balls and get to know someone. And now they're starting to shit on me because they realize I'm starting to gain some traction now. I got shit on way before him. <laughs> I got shit on way before he even grew super high. I mean, he did grow before me, but <laughs> I was the first one to get hated on because I grew from controversial shit. With Tectone about where we talk about Hyunjin and all that stuff, right? Speaking of TikTok, anything new about me in the TikTok cult? Let me see these search tags. This is the top keywords in the search that everybody typed in to find me. Your anime otaku, your anime otaku YT, your anime otaku being problematic, your anime otaku YT Yunjin, your anime otaku Filipino, your anime otaku Gensh, your anime otaku Slander, and your anime otaku Rap. Kiss. Do you not know how to spell racist anymore? Or at all? Look at me, dude. People are clipping my shit. They're still on my content, right? And they put it up and they're getting like hundreds of thousands of views. They took clips from my YouTube and my Twitch. They're not the only ones that are dealing with shit right now. People were so obsessed with me and they think they're the only two content creators that have it rough right now. All three of us had an opinion on Yunjin singing and we were being flamed on. The only difference is Goose made a statement about it and then left. Forgot about it. Me. I got involved, but I milked it. So I kept going on and on and on about it. And that's how people were getting annoyed by me and trying to cancel me. But here's the thing. The only one who can cancel me is myself. And you can't get canceled if you don't care. In the video, they, they like to say with this quote right here, it's okay not to be your music taste. English. Okay. They're trying to say that it's okay for that not to be your type of music. But you disrespect If you think we're disrespecting it, then you got a big problem. It's an opinion for a reason. People don't like shit. If you don't like it, you're going to see it as disrespectful. That's just the reality of it. Get it through your thick skulls, kids. It's called an opinion. Yahoo!